You right guys, um, Nexus here and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do a cutout so basically you just cut out a box on a YouTube template or anything you want and you see him on a lot of tutorials you just, um, I had a couple on my last background I don't know if I have any now I have them on the top on the little top things, just little squares <laughs> and um, yeah it's really easy <clears throat> it's actually the easiest thing to do and it looks the best because you can do so much stuff with it and yeah basically everyone does it and um, pe like normally people use them with a rubber well not normally but I've seen a couple of people use them with rubber and it just looks terrible because when you add a stroke it just has some dirty crappy lines so what we can do is a file <coughs> there we go. open and go to find your YouTube template and use this one that I got from Strats' graphic pack and um, <coughs> sorry it's like 18 past 9 just wake up and uh, now we go to modules if you have these folders and go to I'll do lower right box because mostly everyone does it in here so zoom actual pixels and find a place that you want to do it so right go to the pen tool make sure it's on paths and make sure it's the pen tool not the whatever that is called and um and what we do, what we do first, we will just click once, and then we will click wherever we want. Make sure it's diagonal. Um, you don't have to do it diagonal, but yeah, it's better looking. Um, it only <coughs> goes diagonal in one angle. You can't do it there, and it will see it will just go straight. So um, we'll do hold shift and click there, and keep holding shift and just click click and click and yeah connect it with the last box thing midjig now go to right click make selection <coughs> and just click ok don't really know what that is and now go to rubber make sure it's on hardness 100% and just rub out crap that you don't want there we go it's all gone um, and go to mark Marky tool and just click and it gets rid of the marching shit. Um, <coughs> and now we go to effects, stroke, and gonna size down color, just do red. And it is really smooth. So if you've done that with a rubber, it will just look really gay. Like, for example, uh, add a stroke. Don't. My mouse keeps disappearing. Oh. Right, there we go. Two and red. You can really notice this if you actually put this in the background that way. I'll make it straight. See? There, well, that weren't really straight, but see? It does some dirty line. Oh, well. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. And you know how to do it, so do it that way. Do it the good way and <coughs> it's really effective it does a lot of stuff wait <coughs> sorry um yeah so that is it and a couple of things to say um i go by a new name um i still go kind of go by nexus but i go by nfx now and that's what i'm changing my gamer tag to and you don't really care but whatever um and yeah because someone's been calling me a fanboy so but oh well whatever and um also yeah um i'm doing a new episode and it is gonna be on um it's just gonna be speed art basically but on a film so i might call it like film art or something um i'll be doing it probably like every tuesday or whenever i can be bothered and it's just basically you comment or send me a message on what film i should do my um my speed art on and i'll do it and I'll give you a shout out on of the like your YouTube link and stuff and um, I'll give you a name and stuff so you can get a couple subs from it hopefully and um, but I've really got an idea it was from Zeox um, it is Alien vs Predator so I'll probably be doing that first I'll probably be doing that either today or tomorrow um, and yeah that is it so thanks for watching guys and don't get subscribed.